Hey guys, Clorin King here. Welcome back for another video. Today's topic is cavitation. And I'm sure you guys have heard this tossed around like candy in the pool industry, but do you guys really know what it is? Hey King, that's from that movie that one dude cut that other dude's. Oh my God, no. We're talking about pool hydraulics here, not movies. Any other takers? Hey, cavitation is where you get air bubbles in the pump basket, right? Close. Air bubbles in the pump basket was actually caused from aeration, which is caused from a, an air leak in the system somewhere. You could check places like the a pump lid o-ring, a, di a diverter valve o-ring, or even a union o-ring, or a bad glue joint. Those are places where air gets in the system and cause those air bubbles to, uh, to go around in the pump. So essentially cavitation in layman's terms is the pipes not being able to supply as much water to the pump as the pump demands. So uh, it's really audible. You can hear the pump starting to make a lot of noise when you ramp up the speed if you got a variable speed pump or if the pump is oversized. It'll start sounding like there's rocks being chewed up in the impeller. And I wanted to make this video because I wanted to help you guys not tear apart a bunch of pumps looking for something to be in the impeller when it's just cavitation. So fortunately I got a setup at a client's house where we can induce cavitation. So follow me out to the equipment pad. So everyone, we're out here at a pump and we're going to manipulate cavitation for you to show you guys what it sounds like so you guys aren't ripping pumps apart trying to take the impeller apart to find nothing in there. So let's go ahead and ramp this up slowly. And what we're going to hear eventually is the pump sound like it's chewing on rocks. And I'm going to prove to you that it's, guys, it's cavitation, there's nothing in the impeller. So we're going to keep ramping it up. I'm starting to hear a little bit. Now we're going to ramp it up incrementally. Start to hear that noise. Now it sounds like it's chewing on rocks. So at 2750, we got pretty good cavitation going on. To prove to you guys it's just cavitation, nothing's in the impeller, I'm going to open the spa drain right now and show you that um, once we get more water in there, it shuts off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Just open the spa drain, you can see it completely went away. So now we know for sure that this is just cavitation. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, close the drain line off. Cavitation comes back immediately. So let's go ahead and dial this down so we don't get any cavitation at all. I don't hear any cavitation at 2600 RPMs or 48 gallons per minute. So we know now that the max we can push this system is 2600 RPMs. Uh, before we start getting cavitation. So if you don't see the value in a variable speed pump, this is it. We can get the maximum circulation and push the hydraulics of the system just below the breaking point to create that cavitation. So that's cavitation in a nutshell. We're gonna go ahead and set this up to run at 45 gallons per minute, which is going to turn on or activate any pressure switches for like this system has a heater. And then, you know, obviously the flow switches for the salt system. So as always, like and subscribe, stay tuned for more videos and have a great day, everyone.